Well, hi, St. Paul. Today is Wednesday, April 1st, 2020. And it is also the last Wednesday in Lent. So I would like to share with you the final reflection I've written for this series called Places of Faith. The Holy Gospel according to Matthew, the 27th chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. Well, as they went out, they came upon a man from Cyrene named Simon, and they compelled this man to carry Jesus' cross. And when they came to the place called Golgotha, which means place of a skull, they offered him wine to drink, mixed with gall. But when he tasted it, he would not drink it. And when they had crucified him, they divided his clothes among themselves by casting lots. Then they sat down there and kept watch over him. Over his head they had put the charge against him, which read, This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Well, then two bandits who were crucified with him, one on his right and one on his left. Those who passed by derided him, shaking their heads and saying, You who would destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself. If you are the Son of God, come down from the cross. In the same way, the chief priests also, along with the scribes and elders, were mocking him, saying, He saved others. He cannot save himself. He is the king of Israel. Let him come down from the cross now and we will believe in him. He trusts in God. Let God deliver him now if he wants to. For he said, I am God's son. The bandits who were crucified with him also taunted him in the same way. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Places of Faith, Golgotha. Every day, there are about 153,000 people who die, or roughly two every second. That is a staggering number. And maybe you have been there when someone has died. Maybe you waited by their bedside. Maybe you held their hand. Maybe you were there to help close their eyes. Or maybe you were not there, but you desperately wanted to be. All of us have known someone who's died. Family members, friends, or even just famous people we hear about on the news. Because death happens all the time. And sometimes it doesn't affect us personally when someone dies, because we didn't know them that well. But sometimes it does affect us. Sometimes it feels like our whole world falls apart when someone dies. And part of the reason that death hurts so much is because we know that one day it will happen to each of us, too. When someone you love dies, it's a reminder that one day you, too, will die. One day people will be gathered at your funeral. And one day the rest of the world will go on without you. Because they simply don't care. When Jesus was crucified on Golgotha, some people noticed, but many people paid no attention. Crucifixions were so common in that day that they didn't really shock people that much anymore. And so when Jesus was there on the cross with those two criminals on either side of him, it probably was not a big deal for most people. In the same way, when you are suffering and dying, 
it's probably not a big deal for most people either. But it is a big deal for God. God cares so much that God came to us in the person of Jesus. Jesus knew what it was like to be fully human with all of our pains and problems and struggles, and Jesus knew what it meant to suffer and die. Sometimes when people die, they just close their eyes and they don't wake up again. But sometimes when people die, they suffer. Jesus suffered. Crucifixion is one of the worst forms of execution that humanity has ever invented. And yet Jesus went through it. He went to the cross willingly to show you that nothing can stand in the way of his love for you. He knows what it's like when you suffer. And he knows what it's like to give you resurrection life. As we anticipate Holy Week right around the corner, we are conscious of Jesus' passion and of all of the events that led up to his cross. And yet the week ends with the celebration of Easter, with the joyful news from the women at the tomb that he is risen. But when they reported that news to the other disciples, they didn't believe the women. Because dead people are supposed to stay dead. Death is supposed to have the last word. But not when it comes to God's love for us and Jesus. So whether you are mourning the death of someone you love, or thinking about your own mortality and your own death, or whether you're just conscious of death around you, the promise of resurrection life is still here. The cross and the empty tomb go together. Through God's love for us in Jesus Christ, death does not have the last word. There is always resurrection life. So the last place in our life of faith is the place of our death and the promise of resurrection life. Amen. Well, thank you for watching these midweek reflections. I hope that you will be able to join us for Holy Week services next week. They will take place on the St. Paul Facebook page this Sunday for Palm Sunday or Passion Sunday. Service will be at 10 a.m. Then for Monday, Thursday, that will take place at 7 p.m. Good Friday will also be at 7 p.m. And then Easter Sunday will be back at 10 a.m. Thank you again for watching and may God bless you.